Okay, here's the other shoes currently in my rotation. These are uh, New Balance 1400 version 5s. I think they have um, just under 500 miles on them. The, uh, this is my second pair of ring cones. These have uh, 800 and, 822 miles on them. I'm trying to get these to 1,000. Uh, these are the Saucony Kimbara 10s. These have 214 miles on them. And then my new pair of Hoka's is my third pair of ring cones. These have 224 miles on them. Um, and then over here I have a pair of Hoka Challengers that have 804 miles on them. And the Speed Instinct 2s, which have been discontinued, I think these have 686 miles on them. And then I also have a pair of um, Lone Peak, and I have a bunch of other shoes. It's too dark to see under there. But uh, I have these Pearl Azumis from back in the day. These probably have 400 miles on them. Uh, these are the Summit Unknowns, which are basically the trail version of the 1400s. I think these only have probably 250 miles on them. And then a pair of um, Ultra Superiors. I think these probably have almost 500 miles on them. Um, so basically, and then I have a box of disc uh, shoes that I use for cutting the lawn and fucking around. Um, so Hoka Tracers, uh, Hoka Challengers, a pair of Saucony and Barras, uh, and then another pair of um, New Balance 1400s that are no longer in rotation. Which brings me to the Walmart shoes. $9.98. Gonna take them for the first spin today. Um, hope it's not too shitty. Um, they are pretty light. Um, they don't have a ton of grip. So I wore them last night on a family walk. We always go for a walk after dinner. We take the dog um, for a walk. So I put you know, already three quarters of a mile in them. Um, but they uh, have some decent cushion. And um, yeah, they're a little bit slippery since they don't have great tread. Um, I noticed it was a little bit wet last night when we went out. So we'll see what that's all about. I'm gonna probably do about 10 miles in them today. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna wear a regular thin socks, no padding, no nothing. Um, and uh, let's see what we can do. Cool. All right, I'm a little more than two miles in. Um, they're fine. There's like no problems with these at all. Um, um, they feel like, they kind of feel like Nike Pegasus, um, that they're like stiff. And they just have like a semi-decent um, insole, um, but like they don't feel bad. They feel kind of tappy. Uh, I think I showed the the tread on the bottom, how it's like really flat. Um, I'm a pretty solid midfoot striker, so they just sound really tappy. Um, so two miles in, so far not a bad shoe. All right. I'll check back in at mile five. Alright, just hitting five miles in these things. Really no problem. Um, they feel great. They're like really comfy. Uh, there's a lot of padding around the collar. So my ankles... So I have really skinny ankles, so that's like always been a problem for me. Um, it's a lot of shit falls down in there. So if I'm not wearing gaiters uh, when I'm trail running. Even road running, I'll get little pebbles and stuff like that in there. But now it's weird. They feel really good. Um, uh, let me make this light. Hold on. So I've put a few little surges in. 
um, but nothing sustains kind of speed stuff. Um, so I do want to do like a hard three to five minutes up here just to see what it's like to run fast in these. And I will report back after I do that. Sweet. All right, coming up on mile seven. Um, did a nice little uphill just to see what it's like to get up on the toes and kind of dig in. And then a little downhill. And then about three minutes um, at what I would kind of call marathon pace. Um, again, they're fine. Like they're just really, they're stiff. Um, they just remind me so much of the Nike Pegasus um, and that they have a pretty steep drop. Feels like probably 10 or 12. So they're Walmart racing flats. There we go, there's seven miles. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Walmart shoes are fine. Um, now, I should probably put the disclaimer in here that I'm a bit of an anomaly in that um, I never get injured. Um, I do decent mileage. I wouldn't say high mileage. I got some buddies who do high mileage, like 5,000 miles a year. I'm more in that 2,500 to 3,000 miles a year range. I would consider that like moderate mileage, maybe. Um, but again, I don't get injured decent miles um, and every shoe works for me um, I can wear ultras I can wear you know narrow racing flats um, and I can wear the wider stuff I can wear hokas I can wear you know pretty much everything um, so again like I'm an anomaly and I know this is an n of one experiment um, I would urge more people to go try quote unquote shitty shoes. Um, Cause I know there's a lot of companies that make shoes at decent price points. Um, and you know, I think, um, I think inserts are bullshit. I think, um, I think the shoe industry in general is just bullshit. Um, you know, tell you to replace your shoes every 300 to 500 miles um, and that's a really awesome marketing ploy um, and uh, I mean yeah but I typically get six to eight hundred even more I'm trying to put a thousand miles on a couple pairs of shoes right now just to prove that the industry is full of shit again I'm lighter I'm 130 pounds um, I'm a really solid midfoot striker um, so yeah um, I'm probably a bit of an anomaly. All right, crossing this big road here. Okay, so we're back down here in my shoe dungeon, well after the run. Um, and uh, here are the, sorry, these are the Tim 1.5s I have that are, um, I think 700, almost 700 miles on these. Um, and uh, so we're back to, <coughs> The Walmart shoes, and like I said, my first impressions after the first eight miles in them are they're it's actually a pretty good shoe. Um, it's uh, the the insole is not removable. The um, it's, let me see if you can get a picture now. Like as they call it, memory foam. So it's like a really plush kind of like foam for the insole, but the actual outsole itself is very stiff and firm. It gives like no. Um, no energy return at all, um, so it's kind of like where I'm with with um, with these Hoka's. So I think these have 800 plus miles on them. Um, as you can see, the wear, the uh, very little wear pattern on the heel. Uh, most of the wear patterns up here in the midfoot forefoot because that's where I land. Um, I'm a 
guess I'm a pretty, I've been told I'm a disciplined runner, um, and this is probably why I don't get injured. Uh, but like I said, these have 800 miles on them. There's no busting the uppers. Um, I'm also a very um, prancy or mincy kind of runner. Um, I just, I don't land heavy. I don't, you know, spend a lot of time uh, like rolling through the gate phase again because I land, you know, I land um, like, the, here's the wear pattern. Literally no wear pattern on the heel. All the wear pattern is up here. Uh, where it should be on the midfoot um, and these have 495 miles on them all right so some final thoughts on um on this little experiment here is um so um <clears throat> so i've always thought that the shoe industry was totally full of it um i just was always able to get especially with my first few pairs of hokas that i got you know 600 plus miles out of all of them i got um had a couple pairs of Rapid Nui's and Bondi 3's and I was just able to <clears throat> put a lot more miles into them and um, I've never been the type of person to really bust through the upper um, or get weird wear patterns on the bottom so um, that's something <clears throat> I don't know like I said I guess I'm an anomaly um, in that I take care of my shoes I take care of my feet um, I don't really get blisters um, I don't really have foot problems I don't get injured um, so again, N of one, uh, maybe I'm the exception. Um, you know, I did, um, I did work, I did spend a year working at a uh, major, uh, outdoor retailer who I'll not name, um, but I did sell shoes, um, for a while. And one of the first things, you know, you learn is that, um, you know, shoes cannot cause or prevent injury, you know? So if somebody had said to me like, oh, you know, you're going to, you know, they you'll get, you basically it's insinuated that, that my wife was going to love hearing me complain about the shin splints I was going to get from these Walmart shoes. And I, I don't think shoes cause injury. They just don't. Um, shoes can change your form, um, which will in turn cause injury. But I think injuries are a result of um, just little weird gait anomalies and malfunctions and, and inefficiencies and stuff like that. Um, can shoes change your gait? Sure. Um, can, do you have enough discipline to overcome that and run the way you're supposed to run? I don't know. Um, I think I do. That's why I wear, I mean, I just showed, you know, 14 pairs of shoes that I, that I wear on a regular basis. Um, and so I haven't had a major injuries in, in, se in over seven years. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know. Um, so, you know, one of the things I've always, and another thing I've always thought too, is that, um, in order to, to separate you from your money, um, quicker, you know, and they're going to tell you change your shoes at 350, 400, you know, no more than 500 miles. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a great way to make a lot of money. And that's someone like me is going to get 10 pairs of shoes a year if I'm, I'm changing shoes every 300 miles, which just, that's just a couple that's like ends up being fifteen hundred dollars it's just not i'm not going to spend that much money on shoes um so uh one of the things i've always thought is that that the shoe company could the shoe companies you know if they if they make the terminology really awesome you know like if they talk about drop oh you've got to have this much drop or you don't shouldn't have any drop you know or uh, you know that's again that's just an interest that's an industry term that doesn't mean anything um a, a millimeter is literally it's like the size of a pinhead. I mean, it is like nothing. Um, so you've got to add up 10 or 12 of those, and you, you know, or four, five. Um, drop is, is kind of a pointless thing. Um, same with um, um, stuff like, uh, um, you know, pronation. Over -prona we all pronate and over pronate to some degree, like 90% of runners do, you know, and there's a very small amount of runners that are, have perfect gates. And then an even smaller number that that supinate, um, that feet roll inward, I guess. Um, so again, like it's just all, you know, industry bullshit. Um. This has been a dumbass production. <laughs> <laughs>